Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today we're gonna to show you how you can use Facebook to log into your Meteor application. Like our previous video where we showed you how to log into Twitter, it's gonna be a very similar process. So let's get going on that right now. Now in the last video you saw us add the login with Twitter, but maybe Twitter isn't your uh, your service, right? Or maybe you wanna just give your users options. So let's go ahead and click sign out and let's go ahead and add a, another package to our website. Last time we added Meteor Accounts Twitter, so we can type Meteor add and then accounts hyphen, and then the, let's actually make this a little bit bigger here. The package name is accounts hyphen Facebook, if you can imagine that. So accounts hyphen Facebook, and let's hit enter. As you can see, it's gonna grab our packages and install everything for us. Okay. And now let's head to our site and let's go ahead and click the sign in. And once again, if you followed the last video, you're gonna see this configure Facebook login. So this is really some of the best parts of this user accounts package that comes with Meteor is it not only helps you get set up really quickly, it also guides you through the process. So we can come in here and click uh, this Facebook button and what it does is it opens up another modal window like we saw before that tells you where to go visit developers uh, Facebook.com slash apps. I'm gonna open up that in a new tab uh, It's gonna ask you to log into Facebook. So I'll have to do that as well So now it wants us to click add a new app So I'm gonna click this green button up top here and you get some options. So I'm gonna select website and now it's gonna give you the quick start. So it allows us to choose an existing app or type the name of our new app. This is going to be my resolutions, okay? And let's create a new Facebook app ID. Is this a test version of another app? I'm gonna select no at the moment. And it's gonna category is going to be anything that you would like this to be, whatever it has to do with your site. I'm gonna just uh, select this as communication and click create app ID. Now, we don't need to do anything here. Let's go ahead and scroll down at where it says, tell us about your website. Now, we need the URL of our site and uh, the uh, URL of the mobile website. Well, if we come back to our uh, application here, we can just paste this in, this localhost 3000 in the tell us about your site URL. And let's go ahead and do that. We don't need the mobile site URL though. Let's click next. And we can click this skip quick start now that we've gotten this far. And here we are with our dashboard. Now under settings, we want to add an email address. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my email here. Let's click save changes. Now let's click the option immediately below that, just status and review. Now let's come to this checkbox that says, do you wanna make this app and all its live features? We just wanna check this to say yes. Are you sure you wanna make it public? Yes, confirm that. Now we have our public application. Now we just need to head back to the dashboard to get our app secret and app ID. Now we're gonna want our app secret and our app ID. Like I said, you're gonna wanna keep this information private, but again, I'm going to be deleting this so it doesn't much matter for this example. Uh, so don't try to use these IDs, uh, cause they're not gonna work. So I'm gonna copy my app ID and app secret, paste that in there. Okay, now let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit so we can. And now we have the options to pop-up based login, which is what we had before. So let's click save configuration. And now we have this sign into Facebook nice and blue. When we select this, if you're already logged into Facebook, it's just gonna ask you if you want to authorize this application. If you're not, it's gonna ask you to sign into Facebook. We can click okay. And you can see I now have another account uh, with my name here. If we come to our council, we can once again type in the previous command that we did, which was meteor.users.find.fetch to get the users object. And you can see all three of our users here. The most recent one is going to have another profile and services. So under services, we have the Facebook object. And under Facebook, we have all sorts of information like when the uh, session expires, we have my email, first name, we have my last name, my gender, and my location. So check it out, we now have two easy ways to log in uh, to our website. 
using both Twitter and Facebook. Now, there are other ways we can log in. We can log in with GitHub, we can log in with Google, and all these ways are very similar. So while we will be going over these strategies individually and for their videos, if you get the picture now, you don't have to watch those ones, uh, but perhaps one of those services, specifically the one you want, go ahead and put that on uh, after those videos are released and you'll be able to have those logins as well. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. Leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tuts. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.